Hi guys, this is Area 58 Mysteries and this is your host, Teresa Parker. I thought I'd put out a video today, a companion video, if you will, of what I was trying to tell you the other day about this unexplained, I guess, apparition that I saw. I don't know how else to explain it. But you see that stump to the left of my dog there, big uh, trunk that we had cut down and drug over. We used to put our feet on it. Anyway, this is the area that it happened. Um, I'm sitting right where I'm, right where you see it, right there. I'm sitting right there looking out. There's the trunk all burned. Um, I'm sitting in this position when it happened. As I said, it was nearly dusk, and it happened basically be right there where I'm pointing, only it came up in from behind. And obviously, it wasn't in front, but it came up. And then it moved slightly to my left and then went up a little higher and then just slunk straight down. And I could not see anything that happened in behind, you know, if it was there before it came up or even after. But you can see the space I'm showing right there. I would have um, given you the audio of this video as I took it, but unfortunately it was so windy, uh, you just, you couldn't hear me. So I'm sitting there eating a s'more and I realize... I've just seen something very strange uh, <laughs> over top of the fire, over top of the, on the other side of the, the, the trunk. So uh, as any good cop would do, uh, when I stood up, I pied it out, okay? If, any, if you, anybody knows what that means, um, I was kind of scared to walk over there and see what, what was going to be on the other side because I didn't know what it was. And so eventually I stood up and I walked to the right of the far end of the right side of the, of the branch or the, the trunk. And I sort of pied it out, P-I-E-D, pied. Um, and uh, in order to get an advantage, just in case there was something there, <laughs> honestly, I just, my training kind of kicked in, my cop training. And so when I walked over here, I'm walking over at an angle, at such an angle where I can get a better look on what's happening over here. I didn't walk straight to it. I walked to the side of it. And when I got about right here, I could see there was really nothing over there. The only thing that was dark that I couldn't make out real well was that little trunk to the right of the piece of wood here. Um, so there was nothing behind there. That's exactly what it looked like on the day. And that's exactly what the hillside looked like on the day. There was no debris out there. Um, usually you'll find a dog toy or something, <laughs> stuffed animal, but uh, there was nothing. And as I said, it just slunk straight down after I saw it and just disappeared right behind the log. It's the craziest thing. I still don't know what to make of it. And to this day, all I can say is it was more than likely an omen or a, a, a what was to come. Because <clears throat> it wasn't more than three weeks before our, the, the fire went through. And so, again, <laughs> I'm just sitting here fat, dumb, and happy around dusk when I see an apparition of something black and I have absolutely no idea what it is. And so uh, I leave you with this, everyone. I leave you with this. You tell me. And thank you for listening. This has been your host, Teresa Parker, and you've been listening to Area 58 Mysteries.